bookshops don't make much money anymore because of the internet. Maybe they just had to close over the weekends. She seems pretty knowledgeable about that about technology. <laughs> she knows what the internet is. <laughs> <laughs> what a nerd. <laughs> Welcome back. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> to bookend. That's us again. Let's introduce ourselves in episode whatever this is. Okay. 30 something. I'm Eric. <laughs> exactly. Sorry. I'm Travis. <laughs> <laughs> before long, we were we are before one of the book shops, Lily and before. I. Before. Huh? You said before twice, so I just wanted to throw another one in there. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Lily and I passed by during our search when we spent all day together <laughs> we're getting a little goofy because it's getting late <laughs> yeah so well, fair warning what kind of self-respecting bookshop closes on saturdays <laughs> <laughs> bunch of assholes bookshops don't make much money anymore because of the internet maybe they just had to close over the weekends she seems pretty knowledgeable about that about technology <laughs> she knows what the internet is <laughs> what a nerd <laughs> Jesus. Well, it is weird that a bunch of teenagers like hardly ever use cell phones for anything, or yeah. I mean, this uh, this game was made quite a while ago, but not before the internet, right? <laughs> yeah, or cell phones, or you know. I guess that's a pursuit that would lend itself well to someone who enjoys solitude. I feel personally attacked. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You're kind of being an asshole right now. Hi. Huh, guess that makes sense. It's easier to find books online. Any, anyway, it looks like this idea is shot. Anything else you'd like to do? If it's not not a bother, could you show me where you bought my present? Sure, not a problem. It's far. It's not far from here. Oh God, am I gonna have to voice that guy again? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I head off in the direction of the store. Only half sure if it's exact location. I don't want a repeat of the last time spending half the day walking around aimlessly. Why not? Oh you're, no, that'd you're be in horrible. good company. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Here we are, Othello's Antiques. It, it's small. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, you better get used to that. <laughs> yeah. Well, yes, it took it uh, took Lily and me some time to find it. Can we go in? <laughs> I, don't, I don't see why not. It's no, we're, open. <laughs> we're just here to look at it. <laughs> it. It's open on a Saturday. It's not like that crappy-ass bookstore. Yeah, this guy obviously has no life. <laughs> he lives here. Hanako pushes through the door and enters before me. Once again, the store is empty, save for the store owner and all the antiques. Right. His face drops a little when he sees me. <laughs> no returns. <laughs> oh, you're not here for a return, are you? Well, it's that's not the girl you had with you last time. <laughs> you don't have the rich girl. Yeah. She's uglier. Or, uh, hey. <laughs> <laughs> or, no, we're not here to return anything. We were just in town and wanted to have another look in here. The store owner considers us for quite a long time. I guess he's not used to high school students coming to a shop on a regular basis. A bunch of weirdos. <laughs> Might this be the friend you bought gifts for? That's right. They were presents for her. There she is. Let her load. The store owner turns to Hanako, <laughs> who freezes on the spot like a deer caught in headlights. I wasn't expecting people. He, he moves to address her, but stops before doing so, look, looking a little taken aback. He catches himself staring and looks to the side, addressing us indirectly. His expression is awkward and tense, as is his entire body. I want to be mad at him, but I know full well that I had the exact same instinctive reaction when I first saw her. First surprise, then curiosity, then an awkward look away as I dealt with what I'd seen. Hanako looks less panicked than before, but I think the feeling she's giving off now is worse. It's not anger nor annoyance. If anything, it's one of apology. You're lucky there, young lady, to have friends that care about you as much as they do. I totally am acting normal around you. <laughs> I promise this isn't weird. <laughs> Thank you. I'm just bullshitting my way through this now. <laughs> yeah. What's wrong with your face? <laughs> if I hadn't spent so much time with Hanako, I wouldn't have even realized that she said anything. Then again, the store owner's mumble was hardly clear either, thanks in part to being directed away from us. Let's Hanako. just move on. <laughs> Hanako strikes out into the store, gazing in wonder at the various items on display. She finds the doll section and spends lingering minutes 
studying each and every one. Oh, I like these ones much better. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's a side of Hanukkah that I've I've only barely been introduced to. I was astonished when Lily said she liked dolls, and even more so to find her collection sitting on her dresser. She can call two dolls a collection. <laughs> It is more than one. It's depressing. She looks a little better now that she's distracted and out of the store owner's sight, but I'm still quite put off by the whole experience and this picture. Whoa, God! <laughs> <laughs> that I had to point out. <laughs> Why would you do this to me? I might have my own problems, but I've never... Here, I'll hide it. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I've never had strangers react to me like that as if something completely... Yeah, if I was something completely alien to them. This is a nice shop. Oh, God, that was kind of Emmy-ish. Yeah, it's, <laughs> Sorry. Uh, what happened to you? <laughs> <laughs> it's not what I expected. Do you want to buy something? I I didn't bring any money. It's not what I asked. <laughs> <laughs> well, he, we can always come again. Now that I know where to find it, that is. We, we can? Of course, we can come here as often as you'd like. As long as you get your damn license. Thank you. <laughs> I'd prefer to drive here next time, <laughs> <Yeah>. though. <laughs> I'm tired of walking. You don't need to thank me. I almost forgot where this place was. I don't really think either of us completely believes in what we're saying, but rather we're just repeating what we think we should say. C can we go back to the school now? That was quick. Sure thing. Let's go. What a waste of a trip. As f <laughs> We're not even going to buy anything. <laughs> <laughs> As we leave for the bus stop, I... See the store owner peek through the curtain at the back of the shop. What the hell was that? Bring the rich girl next time. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the hot one. I'm not really sure what the glance he keeps he gives to her says. It feels a bit weird, and the fact that Hanako didn't see it is both a relief and a bit frustrating. Yeah, so tell her. Alright. <laughs> yeah, the weirdo stared at us. That still doesn't look finished. No, it looks dumb. <laughs> I stopped walking once we reached the concrete area between the dual armatory buildings. There was barely a word said between us on the way back from the city. Well then, goodbye. Do you want to have some tea or something? How about a game? Please I don't said goodbye. leave. <laughs> <laughs> I said good day. Hanako shakes her head embarrassedly. I, I'm tired. Maybe later. I've got homework. Four other excuses also. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's not a good sign. <laughs> <coughs> she sounds a, a little depressed. Hanako obviously does want to do more, but it's a, Jesus, Hasao. That's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way she doesn't want to hang out with me. She obviously wants to go all the way with me, but I suppose she would have a bit of schoolwork to catch up on. She's missed a few days of lessons. When has that mattered? Yeah. Uh, homework. Thanks for reminding me. I've got a stack to do as well. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'll see you tomorrow. Do it together. See ya, Hasao. Yeah, just hang out in her room. Before I can say goodbye, Hanako has turned and begun walking towards the entrance to the female dormitory building. I look at the <laughs> door as she disappears through for a bit before going off towards my own dormitories. Today was a tiring day, or something. So I white out. So I pass out? Yeah. Oh. Okay. Damn. Next act. Whoa. Oh, whoa. Jesus. I like where this is going. <laughs> I think that's promising. <laughs> Scars. Yeah. They remind you that the past is real. They do. I woke up, take took my pills, had a nice shower, quickly slipped on my uniform, ate a tasty breakfast, grabbed my bag, headed off, <laughs> all as my per my... <laughs> Usual daily routine. Slightly tripped on a stick. It was, yeah, it was only after arriving in class that the normality of the day was thrown off. Somebody moved the stick I trip over. <laughs> after taking my seat, I watched my classmates trickle into the room over the next hour until every empty seat was eventually taken, other than Hanako's. How's that not normal? Oh, no. Everyone's faceless. Oh, God. I can never get used to the idea that she just doesn't show up to class every now and again. Uh, again, that was what that word was supposed to be. <laughs> it feels all the more worrying now as well, given that Lily's left. As Mootown continues to drone on, I find my gaze flickering every so often over to her seat, as if she might appear there any moment now. Nobody else seems to care at all about her absence, but they have little reason to. Hanako being absent from class, after all, 
is perfectly normal. <sighs> or at least it was. Her attendance hasn't been all that bad from what I've seen in my time here, but it was apparently much more spotty beforehand. There is also an op. This is also an ominous time for her to be gone. It's the day before her birthday. It, my suspicions are. Starting oh, to that rise. was very confused. I was like, wasn't it already her yeah, birthday? Yeah, you did it, it early. <laughs> it's like, has it been a year already? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it took that long. For, <laughs> yeah. After the breakdown she had in class when it was mentioned, an increasing amount of my thoughts is taken up by how I can help her. But in the end, I feel like I can't do anything. Still, you better go visit her. Yeah. The bell heralding the beginning of lunchtime rings out, shaking me out of my thoughts. A collective sigh of relief could be heard from the class, though Mu Tao looks quite put off. Oh, I was on a roll. Eh, we're going to talk about freaking science club now. No. He dislikes being interrupted in the middle of his exciting lectures, after all. Just when I'm wondering what I should do on lunch break, given that Hanako and Lily aren't here, the solution presents itself. <laughs> Of course. Oh, hold on. Oh, they have to shift in. Yeah, that was a <laughs> terrible frame rate for a still picture. <laughs> Afternoon, he chan <laughs> Afternoon, Misha, Shizune. You both look as bright as ever. Don't say things like that. <laughs> <laughs> She-chan wants to know if you'd like to have lunch with us today. Sure, it'll be good to have some company. Yeah, oh, hang no. out with other girls. Yeah, this will work out well. <laughs> <laughs> the cafeteria hums with activity. Much like my old schools did, Yamaku is different, though, in how strangely civilized the lunchtime rush is. No running in the halls. What, <laughs> what one would expect to be an unruly mob chomping at the bit to get to the serving area is rather a neat and orga organized line. <laughs> You're right over there. No. <laughs> you been drinking? <laughs> yeah. There's a small amount of jostling, and people's heads are often craning around to check on what's happening up ahead, but it's pretty subdued. Cripple fight! <laughs> I don't know, I just read, but I'm kind of like spacing out at the right, same time. Right, yeah. You're boring yourself? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that sounds monologue. Just yeah. Just me fall asleep. Yeah, I don't blame you. This is due, no doubt, to the very serious rules regarding such matters in this school. The same strict discipline is observed with when students move in the hallways or come to and from their dormitories and the school gate. While the reasons for it may be slightly off-putting, <laughs> Come to quite, Everything's off-putting. I've come to quite like this sense of order that's enforced in the school. I didn't really like being told by Shizune and Misha to get their lunches, though. <laughs> what? Bitches. I, okay. <laughs> They're feel, forcing you to get their lunch yeah, for them. I feel a little used as I take a seat at the table where they're sitting, plunking their food down in front of them. Sweet bread and strawberry milk for Misha, a bowl of ramen and juice for Shizune. I heave a sigh of relief as I put it all down, after the significant difficulty I had carrying it all in addition to my own lunch. Doesn't seem like that much. <laughs> Thank you! Misha claps her hands together before popping open the wrapper and digging into her bread ravenously. Shizune simply gives an appreciative nod before giving her streaming, steaming ramen a stir and blowing on it a little to cool it down. I open my own lunch, another packet of sweet bread, and take a bite before washing it down with some juice. The bread is very sweet, so much so that I end up forcing myself to stomach it just to get the experience over. Why get sweet bread if you don't like sweet bread? <laughs> Midway through, I decide to take a break from the difficult task and ask what's on my mind. So, I'm guessing you two had a reason to drag me down here? You two seem to always have an ulterior motive, after all. What? I was just so confused. <laughs> <laughs> what are you saying, he fan? We don't have any real for you, muffins. <laughs> Her mouth is full of sweet bread as she speaks. It's a pretty unpleasant sight. <laughs> Shizune <laughs> looks a little grossed out before going back to eating her ramen. Wouldn't mind her having her mouth full. I would wait until Misha swallows what she has in her mouth. <laughs> Thanks, Gabe, for backing me up on that. Well then, before speaking again, you're not buttering me up to make me work with you after school. Nope. Couldn't care less about you now. <laughs> yeah, we're not, over you. Not trying to extract information from me that I might not want to give? Nuh-uh. Fine, you win. I guess you just wanted to eat lunch with someone as intelligent and handsome as me. And modest. <laughs> then. <laughs> That's it, He-Chan. You got it. 
Wait, really? <laughs> Shizune looks unimpressed as Misha finishes signing our conversation and sucks in the last of a long noodle as she <laughs> signs her own thoughts. Shi-chan says, you shouldn't be so suspicious of us. She's just doing her duty as a class representative after all. How is she... are you doing that? <laughs> As much as I hate to admit it, it looks as if I still have trouble communicating with Shizune. It should be a simple matter of keeping eye contact with her and addressing Shizune instead of Misha in my speech, but when somebody else is doing the talking for her, it's a surprisingly difficult task. It's a class representative's job to ensure everybody's doing alright in class, isn't it? Not really. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, how is making me get your food ensuring that I'll go, go well in class? Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> you're an idiot. We figure you're just going to work in food services, so... <laughs> Shizune huffs and adjusts her glasses disapprovingly. So this is the thanks we get for giving you comp companionship during lunchtime? That's a total dodge of the question. Wait, hang on. How did you know that I... God, they know everything. <laughs> <laughs> Lily's away and Hanako is absent, and since those two are the only people you hang out around with, it's impossible for you to have other friends. <laughs> you also make it kind of obvious to see. Ouch. <laughs> I may well have done so, but she didn't need to rub it in. Maybe this is payback for before. Well, now you have no chance with them. Damn it. <laughs> right, well, thanks. I appreciate it, and that isn't sarcasm. Was that sarcasm? <laughs> <laughs> How do you sign sarcastically? <laughs> the two nod, and we get back to finishing our meal. It feels a little embarrassing to be accompanied just because they noticed I was lonely, but it isn't as if they're strangers either. <clears throat> it isn't long before I finish the last of my bread and start on the last of my juice. And as I do so, I find my mind wandering back to what I'd been thinking about before the two interrupted my train of thought. It feels like I'm the only one in class that so much as acknowledges Hanako not being there. It felt like this the other time she skipped class, but now it's even more ac acutely annoying. Stop ignoring my girlfriend! <laughs> yeah, nobody cares except you. <laughs> <laughs> because they're, they're not dating her. Right, they're not nosy. <laughs> Does nobody care if she's happy or not? Have they just written off any possibility of helping to make her better? Even Mutao doesn't try to keep her in class, and I'm still not wholly convinced by his reasoning. I'm getting too into this. I just let this episode go too long again. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm just like, I wonder what's going to happen next. 